Hey GED students, we are practicing at the beginning level, unit zero lesson one of the crash course. We're talking basic operations and we are practicing what we really need to know for the GED, which is vocabulary, writing expressions, much more than how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. This is what's important. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, write the difference between 14.7 and 9.6 as an arithmetic expression. I'm asking you to write an expression. And you might say, well, what's that word arithmetic mean? Arithmetic just means that it has um, numbers and add, subtract, multiply, divide. Pretty simple expressions. Okay, so that being said though, I used a little bit different language on the worksheet. That's fine, translate into an arithmetic expression. I'm asking you to say, do the same thing, okay? We have words like you know, difference between the and. We have words in this phrase, but I want to write it in math. That's what I'm saying by write an expression, okay? Just use the numbers and the symbols that we use in math. So that being said, you have to know what these words indicate before you can do that. So first of all, what did difference mean? We learned that difference did mean a subtraction expression, but I also told you to be really, really careful because difference was that one word with a little but or a little asterisk on it like one more thing you have to remember and that's that difference doesn't just mean subtraction it means a little bit more it means a positive subtraction expression or its answer so you have to rig the system so that your answer ends up being positive now that's really easy to do when we know the numbers you just write the bigger number first 14.7 is larger than 9.6 and the smaller number second, and you'll definitely get a positive answer. Now, it's not the only way to do this. Um, you can also use the absolute value bars that we learned in the class, but I'm not gonna worry about that for this lesson. This is probably the simplest way to write this. Let's just do it like this. But, you know, if you must have the other possible answers, we could write the same expression with absolute value bars, which would be a little silly. We're making sure it's positive twice. Or we could even flip the order if we wanted to. Why in the world we would want to do that? I don't know. But if we did, using those absolute value bars would say subtract and whatever answer you get, make it positive. So that would be fine too. But really, I mean, this is all we need to know for this particular example. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.